So today what I wanted to do is I'm going to, and we're going to cross our fingers that all of this works out. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the video that uh, the developer posts to our page. I'm going to go into Facebook and show you how to uh, save that video uh, and how to find it again in, in there. And we'll go over a few other things too. And I'll show you uh, this video as well. And um, so we'll see, you know, I, tr I tested it out earlier, all went well, and now it's, you know, three o'clock and who knows if it will work at this point either. I don't know. All right. So let's do this. I am going to share my screen with you. So I'm going to go here. I think this is where I want to go. And then I'm going to open my Facebook right here. So let me just move a few things around. So so I can see, well, that's not what I want. Go away. There we go. All right. So I have, all right. So everybody can see, this is the um, Genome Artistic Digitizer Facebook page. So if you haven't been there, that's where, you know, you'd want to come over here. Later today, I think at four o'clock, they're going to post the video I'm going to show you on the Continental Club page. So you'll be able to watch it there as well. But if you're um, on a page and you want, and you find a video or something that you want to watch and I'm going to scroll down here see this is the video of the little keychain and you have this area up here this is your uh, fa like featured so there'll be things up here in the featured you have your new posts coming up if that's what you choose you can come in here and choose what you want to have there and then as I scroll down, I may have to scroll a little bit because we have a few things. This is my video from yesterday. So say you watched yesterday's video and you want to save it right where these three dots are. You left click on there and right here it says save video and right below add this to your saved items. So you click here and it opens your saved items and I have collections so you can make a new collection just click here and i'm just going to do sample like that and then create and then i'm going to go back i think it put that uh let's go back to my oh let's go find it and you'll see where it's at so over here and sometimes these things on the left side are not here um you have to you might have to look for them but this is where you can see all of the things that um, you can have access through under your name and usually your recent ones are up here but if you don't see it you can just and you're going to see messages coming in because i'm i'm on facebook i can't turn those off so down here i can scroll through and i'm going to look for saved and down here right here it says saved so i'm going to click on saved and it brings up those collections I was looking at. And let me expand my window a little bit. And now you can see, let's see, here's sample. And I have this video in sample. In my AD project videos, I have the um, the Easter one that we're, that we're going to post today. And this is the one with the rabbit on it. So you can easily find things that way. All right. So hopefully that will help you out. Um, when you see things on Facebook that you um, that you want to save, you just have to remember now that I opened it, it may stay over here, but it's under this little menu here. And then you have to scroll till you find it. It'll be here for a little bit while um, that little icon will be there. But that's how you find it now on your phone. It's a little different on the phone. So I mean, where it where it is. So you'll just have to kind of poke around on that part when you do it on, you know, wherever you saved them. I can find the same saved uh, folder on my phone and my things will be right there. So, all right, so let's go and I'll look at this project video. So I'm gonna look at this one here and this is where if I might break things. So we'll see what happens. Let's close that. All right, so this, all right, so here, Now, when I, hopefully people can still hear me. If you can still hear me, give me a thumbs up. If you've lost my sound, we'll see. I don't know. Oh, you can still hear me. All right, when I have the video on, can you hear the video? 
Let's put the video on. Can you hear the video as well? Let's see what happens. A little thumbs up if you see, okay, good. All right, so here's your video. It shows the software. You can stop and start it using the pause button. You can move on through. And then when you get near the end, they're going to talk about uh, multi-hooping. Now, oh, cannot hear the video. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me just turn this off because I can only hear it in my head. Um, so the video goes on. Uh, there, there's, there's a couple things I want to tell you about the video. The voice in the video, I, I have to post the picture because um, Ava is the voice of, of the videos. And then when we get to the part where the, they're going to the sew out part, um, that's Tomai's hands. And then, of course, you guys see me. So I'm the face of of, uh, of artistic. So we have the, the voice, the hands, and the face. So once we get down here, they're talking about multi-hooping. And I know with our CM17, we don't need to multi-hoop this particular project. But I'm going to show you, if you want to try multi-hooping, I'll show you an example of how you can try this with multi-hooping. And it's a good way to practice multi-hooping, um, to get comfortable with it and how it works. They show you in the video how to create your template, how to put your template together. All the supplies that you need are there. And then I'm gonna move along a little bit. There's Tamai's hands. And then showing you how to, uh, how to mark it on your, um, your, your project, sewing it out, sewing with the, um, I believe that's the 15,000 there. And then when it gets all done, how to put the project all together. So that that is that video there. And I'm just going to close it now so you guys will be okay with that. All right. So I keep getting all these little messages. The other thing, let me think what else I wanted to show you in here. Um, so yeah, so your saved items are always there. Now let's go back to uh, the Artistic Digitizer page. I think I have to go a different way. Let's go here. This little, let me just click off. This little search up here has my recent places that I've gone to. All right. And um, if I wanted to go back to the sewing machine page, I can go there. Um, it's different people that I've talked to. So let's go in here and we'll, we'll go back to Artistic Digitizer because I want to show you some things here. Now on your phone, it's going to be a little differently different because um, you'll have a little menu in the top, up here in the top left with three bars, and that will be where you'll find guides. So guides, I'm always talking about guides, and I just want to show you this because I think it's really important. There's my message from Costa. <laughs> this is this, I don't know how to turn that off while I'm while I'm doing this, so I apologize for that part. I don't know if I turn off my comments, if it'll mess things up. You know, you don't want to do too many things. So in in your um, guides are all these guides. There's the zipper pouch of the month. We have our Easy Does It Quilting, our AD Skill Builder series. And you can see there's the video and there's the PDF with the class notes. Same thing with the, what we did yesterday. There's the video from yesterday and the zipper pouch. Once I do it on the other page, I do bring it over here for easy access. But you'll still find if I do a video over on the sewing machine page or even on the continental page that I'm in today, the videos will be saved there as well. Let's look at the continental page. This will be funny because we'll see the video in here. See, there's where our video started right there, which is kind of a little bizarre. And there are guides here. And I've loaded some things into guides and I try to keep up on it. But if you're looking for a video, you can go to more and go to media and then you'll find the videos under there. Okay, so that's another place to look for. Now, these words aren't always right here. Sometimes it says uh, photos, sometimes it says media, sometimes it says more. Sometimes you have the three little menu bar over here. You have to look there for the video or you can scroll through like this and you'll come across the videos as we have them. Oh, I'm gonna come back to that um, as we have them. Now, our videos look like, 
let's see. This one here is by Midday. So she did a video last week, I believe it was. Um, so you can come and watch her video. It will be over in the saved videos as well in the guides. So let me show you, I'll go back up. This here, if you haven't checked this out, these are the new designs. This is a special collection. I'm gonna do a little, uh, a, a little sales talk. This is a special collection where Janome uh, uh, worked with um, uh, Sew so Steady with Urban Threads and Embroidery Library to make large designs for our CM17. These are offered only through our dealers. So you have to talk with your dealer about getting this collection. Um, there's 24 uh, designs in the collection, plus a coupon for six more. This, these are um, butterfly wings that are in there. And Miriam made these cute, oh, what they're, I want to say cute, they're gorgeous. They have little sayings on the sides of them here. And they have a little magnet, so you can sit them together on your couch, so they come together. And this is just a cutie pie little, little girl, um, one of our staff members. Uh, oh, and Re Regina's reminding me to tell everyone, these are only available with our USA dealers only. Okay, sorry. It, it, it's just something Janome America did. Uh, other countries can reach out to the same places and uh, do something as well. So yeah, so this is just a, I love this little picture. It just brings me so much happiness when I, when I get to it in my stream there. And uh, that's a, our little, our Danielle's little, little one. So when you get in here, so here's our guides again, just like on the other one. And then in here, there's general information. And then down here, there's the Continental Club videos live with Genomi educators. And I tried, I, I just kind of have put them in here. I was trying to uh, organize them. I wasn't sure exactly how I should organize them. Uh, so they are, they'll, they fall in here. I move them over into here. So you'll see all of them in here. So you'll be able to find them. And then I have the app. If we have a specific one on apps, they're in here. So you'll find those videos there. So they're nicely organized, easy, hopefully easy to find. So you don't have to scroll through. Um, I do about once a month, I will do a little housekeeping to bring them over here and keep them organized. And then I do the same on the Genome Artistic Digitizer page. On the main sewing machine page, um, we'll go over there really quick right here. Their videos, you can go under more, but they also have, let me open this a little bit. They also have an area down here, I think, that you come to and it has videos. And it's not popping up today. So there might be like, sometimes Facebook updates their things and uh, things are a little different. But if I go to the top, oh, this way, there's Kimberly. Under here, you can see videos. And then when I go down here, um, you can scroll through. And then the videos are sorted by latest videos. And then there's a, you can... Uh, scroll through this way and then playlists are here and so forth so you can go through and look at all the videos that we've posted over the past i think they're three years worth at least on there or more so lots of things to watch and to help you with let me double check here uh everything looks good okay all right so i think that's everything on facebook did anybody have a question on navigating facebook or where to find our videos that's one of our biggest questions how to find the videos the other thing oh let me show you this oh i don't know if it'll search today we'll see um this search up here searches all of facebook okay the search that's right here will search the page so if something is tagged um with something like if i came in here and i I tag. I looked for. Um, I don't know. Let me think. What did I tag something with? Um, Easy does it quilting. We'll see if that works. So you have to figure out the words, and then I'm going to hit search. There it is. So now here are all the videos I've done on Easy Does It Quilting. Anything with Easy Does It Quilting comes up over here. All right. So you, sometimes you have to think of what the tag words are. We try to find the most common ones. 
all the pages have that kind of a search. I try to tag everything that I do, or when I'm moving things over, I'll add a tag to it that hopefully people <clears throat> can find find out from. All right, so let me go back in here, and I'm going to go back to me. There we go. All right, let me just click on this here. There we are. All right, so that was kind of a fun little tour through our uh, through Facebook and looking at those videos as well. So make sure you watch for that video. It's going to come up today at four o'clock. They're going to post the one um, that I showed you on making the Easter uh, thing, and they show you lots of tools in there. They are using the full version, so it's one of those things. I really, um, I, I really hope everyone can move up to our full version. There's so many fun tools in there. There is a lot to do with your junior version. I'm not saying you can't. There's lots and lots to do, but there are even more things to expand your creativity. So, um, you know, you have that. You do have that option. So I'm going to open the software. I have to close something over here. So let me see what I can do here. Minimize and open the software. And then I can go to the software. So let's see here. Where is my little tag? There we go. All right, there we are. Now we're at the software. Okay, so I want to show you, this is the project here. I, I went through and watched the video today and I created their... Um, their design. Now I do have the CM17 and up here I do have my CM17 chosen, but I've, I've decided I wanted to try multi-hooping. So I used my smaller, two of my smaller hoops. So, and then I placed my hoops on there. So when we go into the hoop icon, you can see where I did my split right here. So when you overlap your your uh, pieces. I always tell people find the best place to overlap and make it easy for you to put things together. And this would make it easy for me to put it back together. Um, I try not to split things apart in the middle if I can. Um, you can use, put little points on here and make this line bend like that to get around stuff so you don't have to. Um, let me put that back over there. So you don't have to cut things in half. You can cut things in half. It's just a little more difficult to do that. Like up here, if I had to split this part up here, I would probably try to run this through like that. So I wouldn't have, you know, if I could get it, you know, all in one hoop somewhere, I'd do it in one hoop. If not, I would try to uh, cut it apart like that. So they show you how to do this lettering, do the gradient in the lettering, which I think is really cool, how to do your split. Over here, you can see the two hoops are, that are showing. To add a hoop, you use the plus. If you just want to look at hoops or change a hoop, you would click here. So you would add a hoop right here. And when you click add, you would click where you want around your piece, where you would want to add a hoop. All right, let me go back out of here. Once you do this, when you send this to your machine, it sends or you save it to a USB stick, it saves two files, no matter if you're in the CM17 or a different machine or four files, however many hoops you're using, it will sort it into those files for you. So you don't have to worry about that part. Now to see this in slow redraw, I can click here and it's I can choose which one I want to see. It's going to stitch the uh, smaller one right now. So here we go. It's going to look like this. And I can organize my colors for this. There it goes with the outer part. There we go. And now I can go to my larger hoop. I would rehoop my whole project. If you watch the video, you'll see how you rehoop it. It's going to stitch the bottom part, the happy, and then the Easter. So you have all of that. So that's how multi hooping works. If I want to see that in print, to print my template, I would come up here to print. Here's my template. Now there's a lot of stuff on this. And what I like to do first is I really want the design. So I'm going to do that. And it's still keeping it at uh, two. But what I want to do is I want the center lines. So it will give me the... Um, the center lines here. Notice, if you can see it, it's hard. Right here, this arrow is pointing up. 
it's going to sit in your hoop sideways, looking sideways, okay? Arrows always point up. And that's what they talk about in the video. So if you watch the video, they do print it on uh, transparent paper so that you can see through it. I don't always do that. Um, I will just uh, use the paper, use this, and then I trim it once I, I put it together and then I'll trim it close so I don't have to worry about that, but I'll transfer my lines to my, my piece. Any of these things that you want to add, if you want this information, if you want a header, you can add that. Um, your color changes, which add a whole bunch of stuff there, which I don't normally need. If I wanted to add any information, that goes at the bottom. I'm still looking at the scale. It's still 100% on there. Your stitch count, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take away information. I don't need that. If I don't want it to stitch in color, uh, I can change it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in PDF. Let me go to, oh, this, oh, that's right. I, I'm not connected to a printer over here, so it's not showing my printer. I, have to, I would have to connect, but you would have your printer up there. Um, if you want to show your hoop in here, it'll it'll show uh, these little dotted lines are your hoop. I like less information. I really just want a clear picture of my design. I could do it in black and white if I want for fill areas, but I like I do like it like this. You can set your printer to print it uh, not in color, to print it in black and white. All right, so. Let me think. I think that's everything. So I'm going to hold for just a moment. I'm going to go back to the camera and uh, see if we have any questions before I let everybody go for the weekend. We are at the weekend. Yay! All right. Let's see if I'll wait for just a moment to see if there's any questions. Has anybody tried multi hooping? Um, you know, multi hooping, a lot of times people think, oh, I have to, you know, split the design sometimes we do have to split a design and that's you know if you have a design where you have to actually cut through the the embroidery part i suggest you try to make your line maybe a little slightly jagged so that you can bring your parts together like this and kind of weave them together rather than a straight line because you know lining up a straight line and getting that to be perfect is hard we have a couple things that help us with our um, CM17 and the 15,000 and S9. We have AccuSetter. So once you get it um, split and you bring it in, you stitch the first one, you bring in that second one, you can use your AccuSetter app to realign it. it. Gives you better placement there than just you know using. You can use your templates and get it just right in the hoop. But you know when you put it in the hoop, sometimes it moves just things move just slightly. So using AccuSetter, you have real-time movement of that design, and you can get it exactly where you have. I have it multi-hooped. So I suggest with multi-hooping to try it first with the smaller hoops. The RE46 is a great hoop. We might make a big design, um, but try it with your smaller hoops. They're a little bit more manageable at first, so you get the feel for it. You notice on mine, I, you know, I moved my design up to, to show that. So bring something in that maybe doesn't really need to be multi-hoop. Do a layout of things and then use your hoops, you know, your smaller hoops to multi-hoop that and get comfortable with following that around. All right. I think I've covered everything. Just a heads up, there is an update to our software. Uh, you can go to help. In the software, you can go to help check for updates and do the follow the prompts and update it. It does make um, a fix for Ventura when Ventura broke a lot of things for our Mac users. And there's some other minor fixes in there. As I find them, I will post them to the page. So you'll all have them. Let your friends know. And of course, any of our junior users, if you want to try our software for free for the month of April, the full version, that starts April 1st. Um, you may have received an email um, to sign up for that. They'll be posting it to the page so you can sign up for it there as well. So you can go and sign up and they will put the codes out on the first. I'm going to warn you right now, many, many, many times that email goes into a spam folder. It goes to a junk file. If you have Microsoft um, Defender, one of those things, and you get that message from Microsoft is holding so many emails for you, look in there. That's where it'll go. 
sometimes for some reason it gets flagged and it gets put in there and people find it months later months later but if you don't receive it within a week go back to that that original post and send another email asking did you you know if they sent it or that way okay or post to the ad page and let me know i'll be checking on them as well they usually come out pretty quickly within a week of you putting of the april 1st all right they'll be fiercely fast putting them out in the office and then if you have junior all you need to do to go to the full version you don't need to install anything okay first off you need to know your junior serial number and activation code all right have those jotted down somewhere off to the side make sure your software is closed go find and open your software key you know that little green dot at the top of your there open that up click log out all right then take your new codes that you that they sent you and put them in those boxes and be careful if you copy paste them you don't want to put an extra digit in there type them in then hit activate then launch your software and voila you'll have the full version for the month of april all right so you don't need to install it if you already have the software in junior you don't need to reinstall okay and hopefully maybe we'll put a post out about that too so maybe maybe uh maybe uh, regina heard me so we'll see all right let's see wanda's here hi wanda all right everyone i'm gonna let you go have a great weekend I will see you next week. I'll be back just on Thursday next week, amazingly. But you can always find me over on the Genome Artistic Digitizer Facebook page or any of our other pages. I'm always cruising around and uh, answering questions. So you can always find me there. Have a great week. And thank you so much for joining me today. It's really been wonderful. Check out our videos from our developer. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you again soon.